everyone. I would like to welcome all of you to this webinar dedicated to putting healthcare compliance training online with iSpring. I am Paulina. I am the community manager at iSpring and I will be the moderator for today's session. And to cover today's topic, I have invited my colleague, Pauline Egoshina, who is a customer success manager and helps launch e-learning projects in different organizations and industries, including healthcare. Hi, Pauline. Thanks a lot for tuning in today. How are you doing? Hi, Polina. Thank you so much for inviting me to this webinar. I'm doing great. <laughs> Wonderful. Perfect. So, hi, everyone. My name is Pauline, and I'm happy to see all of you here today. And let me start right off. This is the agenda of today's session. So today we will talk about the pros and cons of e-learning for organizing compliance training. We'll see what solutions iSpring can offer to put compliance training online in just one day. We'll learn what types of training materials and assessments you can create with iSpring. And we will go over free Lyle real life examples of how healthcare providers moved compliance training online. And at the end, we will have a Q&A session to take care of any questions you might have during this webinar. So let's start by giving a definition of compliance training. Compliance training is a formal program that educates your employees on job or industry specific policies, procedures, and actions required to prevent both problems in the workplace and violations of the law. And why does a compliance training matter? By implementing critical healthcare compliance training, educating uh, the workforce on the laws, regulations, company policies, and processes, organizations are able to avoid violations, mitigate risk, eliminate legal liability, create an optimal work environment, and develop standards for their employees. In other words, compliance training is core to your organization's risk management system. However, it's not just about minimizing the risks. It's important for many reasons that include creating a safer workplace, increasing productivity, reducing absenteeism, for example, due to the injuries, mental health issues, etc., securing insurers for your organizations, and protecting your organization's reputation. Now that we covered what compliance training is, how do you deliver it to your employees? And due to the current global situation, the tedious pen and paper method doesn't work anymore. So some companies turn towards PowerPoints and PDFs, which are easy to click through and leave almost zero chance of content rotation. However, there is much more effective way to bring knowledge to your staff. And this is via e-learning. Researchers from Oregon University proved that digital learning is more effective than traditional education methods. 2,300 free students began using four online units with videos, games, and interactive tests. In three years, their average grade increased by 15%. In a group that used only printed books, the grade increased only by 5%. By delivering compliance training online, you'll be able to save time and money and make learning much more engaging, which will result in digesting the content quickly and easily. And I prepared a list of the top five benefits of delivering compliance trainings through e-learning. First of all, it's effective. Students are more involved in a training process that has special activities, these interactive elements and self-checks, which results in better content retention. E-learning also have wider coverage the courses are totally self-paced and can be taken anytime. Plus, the number of learners who can take the training at the same time is unlimited. 
e-learner, e-learning also allows you to easily progress tracking. So your business trainers don't need to hold in class training and go over every single paper in person. Most LMS platforms include an analytics function that shows each student's progress in graphs and reports. E-learning also provides you with a single knowledge base. All the learning materials are stored in one place, such as an LMS platform. Employees can log in to the LMS at a time that is convenient for them from any device, find the course that they need, and refresh their memory. And of course, e-learning saves your time and money. You can create your content once and use it repeatedly. Plus, one person can manage your training process across the entire organization. And as a bonus, I'd like to mention that technology-based learning aids can be included as well. But what about the cons? Here I would like to name the top two drawbacks when organizing compliance training online. E-learning requires strong self-motivation and time management skills. So here it's your job to keep motivation at the highest level. Do something for your workers. If they complete the training with the highest rate on time, maybe you can offer them two hours off of work at their request or a special price. You can even use gamification features in the LMS like badges and leaderboards to motivate your employees. This approach doesn't work for everybody, so you need to be creative here. Another drawback is that preventing cheating during online assessments is quite complicated. And it's true, however, well, there are a lot of ways to help you with that using an e-learning offering tool, like navigation restriction or a timer on your course, or you can even limit number of attempts to take the course. If you have any questions about that, we would be happy to chat with you after a webinar to provide our expertise in that. Now, let's move on to the next part of our webinar, where we talk about how to put compliance training online this iSpring. First, let me give you a brief introduction to the iSpring company and its solutions. iSpring Solutions has been on the market for over 19 years, and then now we have 54,000 customers in 150 countries around the globe. And some of those corporate clients are on the Fortune 500 list. And of course, we work with both SMEs and large corporations. And here we have some examples of customers from the healthcare industry. iSpring is well known for its speedy technical support, and most of the cases are resolved within the first two hours. They also constantly make sure that your data stays safe with us and provide you with updates. So your courses will always be compatible with the latest releases of other software like browsers, Windows system, and so on. And here you can see that they have both the iSpring Suite offering toolkit for creating their interactive training and also iSpring Learn LMS. Um, this management system can help you with providing and delivering training to your learners. And here you can see how the iSpring Suite offering tool looks. It's an add-in to the desktop version of PowerPoint on Windows that lets you create engaging and interactive e-learning courses in a familiar setting. And another important component of an e-learning course is its visual appearance. And iSpring can help here too. These ready-to-go course templates and visual assets, you can build content faster than ever before. And our content library contains over 60,000 professional royalty-free assets available right in your iSpring suite. So you don't have to search for all of this online or consult a designer. And there are plenty of characters, backgrounds, and icons from uh, that are related to medical field. So if you're interested, you can always have a look there. And for their iSpring um, 
suite. Uh, also wanted to mention that uh, our offering tool uh, is mostly known for having a zero learning curve. Since it's based in PowerPoint, it's super easy to use. And if you know how to use PowerPoint, you'll know how to use iSpring Suite for building your interactive courses with quizzes, dialogue simulations, and interactions. And the second solution is our LMS, iSpring Learn. This iSpring Learn, you can launch your digital training portal in just one day, streamline onboarding for your employees, promote employee growth, and orchestrate learning across all departments. And actually putting your compliance training online is not a rocket science. It consists of only three steps. So to uh, create your compliance training first, you need to develop your courses. It will take approximately one hour if you have some existing content. Then you can upload your courses to an LMS and keep track of your learner's results. And the great news is that all of the free steps can be held handle these iSpring solutions. So let's discuss those steps one by one. The first step is to develop your courses. And if you have already provided compliance training to your staff, you're likely to have all the necessary information you need to share, like PDF files on training requirements in OSHA standards, or long video lectures on employment discrimination. You can use all of them to create a complete training program. And developing your training program requires a lot of planning, the first thing you need to do is clearly define which topics you need to create courses for. Then you will need to determine what purpose and audience of each course is. Then you can build a scenario, write your script, and visualize what each slide would look like. Usually this is a storyboard. And likewise, you might have to work with CMS and legal professionals who can ensure and verify the course materials are compliant with legislation rules. Once you've completed the planning and content creation process, you can develop a program. And this is where iSpring Solutions comes in handy. As mentioned, iSpring Suite is a powerful offering tool that works within the PowerPoint environment meaning it's easy to navigate and most people have used PowerPoint before, so it's pretty easy to get started. You can easily add text and pair it with relevant multimedia, including videos, audio narrations, and screencasts. And let's start with examples of how you can use iSpring Suite for compliance training. And the first one will be interactions. To truly cement knowledge, your trainees need to interact with the course. And uh, passive learning, their information is simply presented to learners without any uh, flow, for example, training to learner and learner to training, typically goes in one ear and out of the other. This is the last thing you need, especially with compliance training. Their company liability is at stake. iSpring Suite enables you to create or incorporate a wide variety of interactions. For example, you can use the steps interactions to provide your employees with a step-by-step -step guide on how to deal with angry customers. Like, um, as an example, I have a interaction pre-built here. So let's see how it would look. So here I have an interaction fully built in iSpring Suite and the learner can click on the steps in the interactive menu on the site, or we can use player buttons. And I can also scroll through my interactive slides to ensure that all the information is visible and available to me as a learner. So that looks great. Next, let's talk about the simulated scenarios. So speaking of scenarios, people learn best through experience. And this compliance training, you can easily simulate what you would do in less than ideal situations. Providing realistic scenarios also involves storytelling. 
This iSprint suite, you can easily create branch scenarios and dialogue simulations. This is a great way to increase employees' awareness over rules and laws on life safety, ethical issues, inclusion, and some other compliance topics. And here you can see the dialogue simulation build process. So you can start by adding different scenes and building a full dialogue tree. And also I have an example of a course with the simulated scenarios from two of our existing clients. So let's have a look at them. So the first one is from our customer and let's quickly click through the slides. And here we have a simulation. It also includes a voiceover, but I will just switch it off to make it easier for us to understand. And here we have a patient who talks with a nurse. And on the right side here, you can see a mood meter that shows you how the customer or patient reacts to the answers that the learner gives. So let's see, we have a question and let's select one of the responses. And as you can see, the patient is much happier now. We selected the right answer. So let's continue on and move to the next one. So we have a second scenario. The person is also not very happy. So let's select answer number one. And now we can see that their mood improved significantly. And in addition to the just the scenarios themselves, you can add some useful information on what should the learner do in a real uh, life scenario. This is also created by one of our customers. So let's quickly skip through the slides here and put our course on a full screen mode, which is very easy to do. And now we also have a scenario with a nurse and uh, this course is actually used as an assessment. And here, instead of a mood meter, you have a points that can be granted for correct answers or taken off for the wrong ones. So let's start our dialogue simulation here. And they have a situation and here the correct answer is number two. So let's click on it. And as you can see, the received 10 points for giving a correct answer. And we also know how the situation would go from there. So I will click on continue. And if the simulation was not taken uh, correctly from the first time, uh, the learner can retake it once again to make sure they understood the topic completely. So I will just click on continue. And I think we have another scenario here. So let's also see how it would look like. So they see that they ask us to show them the way. And the best way to go is to actually show them there to go. And they can see that the customer is much happier now. So yeah, let's finish with our course here and move on to the next slide in our presentation. Uh, so the next part of the iSpring Suite Toolkit is the quizzes. Finally, when developing courses, you need to have the accountability measures in place. And what better way to reinforce learning and ensure your employees are held accountable than these quizzes and assessments? With iSpring Suite, you can create engaging quizzes with drag and drops, matching or sequencing games, fill in the blanks, and more. And we also have a couple of quiz samples. So let's have a look at the first two. And this is also from one of our customers' quizzes. And the best part about the quizzes is once you've built your online course with iSpring, it's yours for life. You only need to develop your program once and it can be used over and over again to onboard new employees and easily tweak the quizzes and tests to ensure that your compliance courses remain up to date with legislative changes and standards. So if you have a quiz like that, it's very easy to reuse it for several courses and compliance trainings that you have. Uh, I also have another quiz sample here, and this one is on cybersecurity. And there's a big boom in medical people working from home, and it's opening up a huge hole in cybersecurity, especially with increased scam and phishing attempts related to COVID-19. So let's take a look at the quiz that can help you to deal with that issue. 
So we have here a quiz uh, consisting of five questions. So let's quickly go over them. And the great thing about the quizzes there is that you can provide detailed feedback that explains not just like if the answer is correct or incorrect, but also gives some additional suggestions to the learners. So if we answer this question incorrectly, for example, you will see a detailed information on what you need to review to be able to answer it correct next time. So we have here another slide. And as you can see, the image is quite small. So the quiz allows you to actually enlarge the image and see it in more detail to be able to answer the question correctly. So let's select those two options. Perfect. Now we have another email sample. We can also zoom it in. And I think this one is safe. <laughs> so the last one, let's move it to spam. Okay, we completed the quiz and uh, for this one to complete it, we would need to get 100%, so we didn't do it this time. Uh, and it, once again, it's just one of the examples of what you can build. This is the iSpring suite for your quizzes. After our course is ready, we'll need to distribute it to the employees. And the most convenient way to do this is to upload the courses to a learning management system or an LMS. LMS are the gateway or portal where staff can access your corporate training program. It allows you to keep your courses organized, manage your learners, and track their progress, activity, and results. If you still don't have an LMS, you can try Iceplane Drone. Um, in addition to the basic LMS option, it has some features that will help you to make appliance training even more effective. So with the iSpring Learn LMS, you can divide your employees into branches that mirror your corporate structure. This option may be helpful if you need to assign different compliance courses to multiple departments or distribute various content types to people working in states where different laws are in force. You can also create custom groups in the LMS. For instance, set it up to gather all the new employees and have them automatically enrolled into your compliance courses when they're added to a new hires group. Then courses are often needed to be assigned to employees periodically. For example, you may want your staff to regularly update themselves on safety rules or some other compliance topics. If you don't like the idea of enrolling enrolling users manually each time, you can set up automatic course re-enrollments that will repeat at specific time intervals. iSpring Learn LMS is extremely user-friendly and it takes approximately just one day to set up and launch for training, according to our client's feedback. So, uh, this, the next step is to keep track of learners' results. And these steps come shortly after you uploaded your courses to your LMS and distributed them to your trainees. Note that when choosing your LMS, the tracking and reporting features are prime considerations. Without a robust tracking and reporting, you'll be in the dark about how to diagnose issues regarding your training programs, and most importantly, how to improve them for future use. This iSpring Learn, you can stay on top of learner's results. And you can track the important things like course progress and completion rates, learner results and scores, attempts and answer breakdowns, and of course, user feedback. So there are some other things, of course, that you can track in iSpring Learn LMS. And these metrics are undeniably important because they show how engaged your learners are. For example, if your users are progressing quite slowly or not completing your courses, then there might be a problem with your course content. Likewise, if your employees are getting low scores, maybe a content is engaging but missing the mark. Maybe you need to align them more closely with your learning objectives or narrow the focus of your courses. Either way, monitoring your users, uh, what they're viewing and how long they're viewing different parts of your course will help you determine what's working and what needs improvement. 
right now I want to move on onto the real life examples of how healthcare organizations moved compliance training online with the help of iSpring. And the first case is the Villa Saint Vincent. Uh, it's a senior living community that provides uh, holistic senior care and services. And they shared how their initial e-learning deployment was full of problems and how they finally succeeded with iSpring. An increased 90-day employee retention by 24% in the first four months. So before iSpring, nursing care services at Villa San Vincent were performed by certified nursing assistants. And to become a CNA, a person had to pass a nursing assistant competency exam. They had to train new employees to become CNAs on an ongoing basis. And prior to iSpring, we taught the classes only in person. So a registered nurse would be pulled off the floor, so to say, and would have to teach students all 44 hours of content in person and on a set schedule. And that is why we decided to attempt to put this content online to make it more effective and deploy the content uh, in a different format. Another challenge is that they didn't have an on-site IT development professionals who could help uh, them to deploy an online LMS and create classes. And the expertise in taking care of the elderly does not equal developing computer-based courses. So the solution should have been user-friendly and possible to deploy without IT experience. And iSpring was a solution like that. After working this iSpring support, they decided to move classes to iSpring Learn LMS with immediate and remarkable improvements in outcomes. The 44 hours that the nurses had to teach uh, offline, they have, to be uh, they have been moved online and the transfer process took less time because with the help of iSpring Suite offering tool, the courses can be uploaded directly to iSpring Drone LMS and updated in a matter of hours. The core learning materials are provided by a mandated curriculum in the state. So the training program consists of 15 units and within each unit there are modules. All in all, there are 58 actual modules, and they all were in PowerPoint format. iSpring Suite was used to enhance the modules with a variety of teaching methods like lectures, simulations, videos from the web, instructor-led video teaching, web links for additional references, essays, and quizzes. Each unit also included handouts, practice quizzes, etc. In addition, iSpring Suite provided many design features to keep the content interesting. And depending on the length and detail of the materials, it took approximately four to eight hours to complete a working module, including simulations, videos, and tests. The other offering tools took at least twice as long as iSpring. Now, they are consistently ensuring that students are meeting the required time set in each module because those government regulators will look at each student carefully on their annual review to relicense the class. And this iSpring uh, Villa Saint Vincent, they trained 41 students successfully in the past few months. And since moving the class to iSpring Learn, they had another 30 students enrolled into the program. And the learning path provides the entire course curriculum developed by iSpring Speed as required by Minnesota state law. And uh, they can receive a state approval um, very easily after being evaluated by the assistant registry. And employee rotation was a strategic priority and still a strategic priority in Villa Saint Vincent organization. So they are monitoring and directing. Uh, they are monitored and directed by the corporation uh, to improve the outcome. And in the four months prior to moving the LMS to iSpring Learn, the retention was 90 day and averaged at 69.6%. And in the following four months after implementing iSpring, they improved this measurement to 86%. And a key factor is the improved deployment of the class on the iSpring Learn platform. 
which is now offered an enhanced learning experience with notable use, uh, is of use for the learner and for the administrator. The next case that I would like to talk about is the Articon case. Articon is a global hearing aid manufacturer dedicated to improving the lives of people with hearing loss. And Articon has been a world leader in hearing healthcare since uh, the 20th century. And given the change in landscape in the hearing industry and the increasing demands of the customers, it is critical that all employees keep their skills sharp and knowledge updated in order for the company to compete effectively. And before Articon started using iSprint Learn LMS and iSprint Speed, it was difficult to monitor training completion and determine if there are any gaps in the existing content. Articon needs to maintain a high level of knowledge and skills among all 2,000 uh, 250 plus employees, including the field-based professionals such as account managers and trainers who travel extensively. Uh, in addition, given the highly regulated nature of the industry, it was crucial for them that all employees hear the same consistent messages related to the products sold by Articon. This is why e-learning was such an important piece of overall training strategy adopted by the company. And these iSprint Suite and iSprint Learn, Articon have been able to move part of their training online and provide self-paced e-learning courses, um, which is a perfect combination of their subject matter expert knowledge provided in an online format and their support by the iSprint Learn LNS. And as an example of what we're doing, then the new account manager joins Articon. They go through a 10-week onboarding program to help them acclimate to the company and become productive quickly. And during the analysis, Articon team also determines which learning objectives are best accomplished through a self-paced learning on iSprint Learn and which objectives are more suitable for face-to-face -face interaction in class with an instructor present to give immediate feedback. And the results that Articon got from using iSpring is that the offering and assigning courses has become easier and more effective. And the development team creates courses, quizzes, and videos, uploads them to iSpring portal just in a couple of clicks. And currently, Articon has more than 300 courses available 24-7 on their learning portal. Employees can take training anytime and from any device. For example, account managers and field trainers use the offline version of a mobile app extensively when completing the training. So the new hires acclimate to the company and become productive faster, and they can get a new portion of training as soon as Articon releases any new products or update their policies. And the next case and the last case that case that I will be covering today is a case from Health Help Company. And Health Help is the leader in the field of healthcare utilization management. They're headquartered in Houston, Texas, and the company helps health plans uh, achieve a higher return on investments, gives, uh, and gives providers education programs that better inform physicians and ensure quality and safety for patients needing treatment. Health Help works with health insurance companies to help patients get medical tests and procedures done at the right place by the right people. And then patients see a doctor and need to undergo a procedure, for example, an MRI that requires approval. Uh, they go to the call center and the Health Help, they now have three call centers which process these kind of calls one in New York, one in Houston, and one in Manila, Philippines. But the training curriculum for both call centers had not undergone any major enhancements for several years and needed to be completely revamped in a short time. That is why Health Help went to iSpring and they wanted to improve the knowledge and quality of work uh, their trainees have, raise productivity levels at a faster rate, and improve employee retention. And of course, enhance clinical knowledge of them. 
but also needed a better way to share system updates and track all employees for audit purposes. They have to be accredited because they're in the medical field and they are required to have quality improvement programs annually. And the last challenge is that those quality improvement programs have to be provided like every year, as I said earlier. So this iSpring, uh, they migrated the content into a PowerPoint uh, with the help of several trainers and updated it with the iSpring suite. Uh, they added some interactive elements to their programs. The system managers and supervisors uh, were able to provide feedback regarding the program before it was delivered to the students. And the actual new hire training class is now a combination of an instructor-led walkthrough of the processes, followed by an iSpring suite review and practice with a quiz. They also turned their final exams from paper format into an online format, and learners can take a quiz as many times as they want, and by the time they get to the final exam, they're doing very well on it. The quiz is about 200 questions, and they are randomized. So if someone fails the test the first time, they need to take it again, and it's not the same test the second time. Another challenge was that the training uh, needs to be provided overseas and it can be like really tough. And uh, most of the training that Health Help did for the office in Manila, Philippines was done over the phone. So it was nice to have a way to review what you just taught them. They use the quizzes and find out if, they, if the learners grasp the topic Additionally, they have created an iSpring training module specifically for the Manila team to help them better understand American idioms and slang. And this the result of the implementing iSpring is that number of scheduled classes increased from 20 to 150 for the employees, and the new trained staff is much better prepared and their readiness for the job has risen from 80% to 87.5%. And by the end of the first year implementing iSpring, they have a fully revamped training program that now meets their benchmarks for quality improvement and allows to track progress, which is required by compliance audits. So, that's it about the client's case, uh, cases. So I wanted to share some final thoughts with you. The corporate compliance training is necessary, but not necessary at all. <laughs> Rather than form, framing it as a burden, reframe it as a benefit for both you and your staff. The best part is once you put your course online using offering software like iSpring Suite, you can reuse them over and over again with minimal updating as necessary. Furthermore, the right LMS platform will do most of the administrative work and reporting for you. So, would you like to deliver sophisticated and highly engaging compliance training with minimal time, money and effort? We offer a free 14-day trial of iSpring Suite offering toolkit. If you still don't have an LMS, also test drive iSpring Learn without playing a cent. Please raise a hand in the chat if you're ready to give it a try, and we will get back to you with more details after the webinar. Now I'm ready to answer any questions you may have regarding our solution, its pricing and licensing plans. So let's get started. Thank you so much, Pauline, for this wonderful presentation. And hopefully um, now you folks understand um, how you, what is another way of putting your compliance training online with iSpring. And yes, we do have a couple of questions. So I think we can quickly go over them and then wrap up our session. So uh, the most popular question was if the recording of the session will be available. And yes, I will be sending a follow-up message uh, to all of you guys. So yes, you will receive a link to a replay. And um, the question for you, Pauline, and thanks for mentioning it, actually, uh, what is the pricing for iSpring Suite and the LMS? So thank you, Polina, for the question. And the iSpring Suite Max package costs 900, 970 US dollars for one offer for one year. 
And this package includes the offering tool itself, also any upcoming updates, and we are working on many updates this year for the tool. It also includes access to our full technical support via phone, chat, and email, access to the content library for designing your content, and of course, to the iSprint space, the online tool for working these your colleagues and collaborating on the projects. Uh, the iSprint Learn LMS pricing is based on number of active users. And an active user means a person who logs in into the system at least once a month. And it can be the same users every month or different users every month. And our standard package is for 100 active users. Uh, we have pricing on our website, but of course, if you need to get detailed information, you can always contact our support team, or, sorry, sales team at sales at iSpring.com. And we'll be glad to calculate and check out which package would fit your needs best. So yes, and we have yeah, our pricing mm -hmm. information here. And I just sent it in our web chat as well. Awesome, thank you so much. And uh, another question was about um, iSpring authoring tool and if it's included in the Learn LMS. Yes, so we have various packages and iSpring Suite and iSpring Learn LMS can be purchased together as a bundle to get your online training started in like a shorter time. And once again, if you have any questions about that, you can always contact our sales team and actually let me type in the, and the email for the sales team. Actually, I think we have our email address right here. So if you would like to contact us, um, you can just send us email and we'll be happy to assist you with any pricing questions. So we have it right here. Perfect, awesome. And the last question that I wanted to cover for today was about uh, demos. If we do have any more demos of the content created with our authoring tool. Absolutely. So we have some sample courses that are available right on our website and uh, you can check it out and they have some sample courses not only on healthcare but on some other topics that you can use to get inspiration for your courses. And just give me a moment, I will open up a link as well so you can see how it looks like and what kind of demo courses we had there. So. As you can see, there are various courses, some built uh, by our customers and provided to us, uh, and some are built by our own marketing team. So, yeah. Yeah, the great thing is that, and I think Pauline already mentioned that uh, sources are available for, for um, this courses. So you can go ahead, download them, and try to either recreate or, I'll play with them, see how everything was done. So that's pretty cool. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So at this point, I think we are ready to wrap up our session since we don't have any other questions. And I would like to thank everybody for coming today and for spending this valuable um, time learning something new. And hopefully by now you are leaving this session armed with another solution that will definitely help you to put your compliance training um, online in a matter of day, I would say. Okay, I hope that everyone has a wonderful day and uh, we will see you at the next webinar. Bye everybody and bye Pauline. Thank you so much, Paulina. Bye.